Hi guys, in this short video I'd like to demonstrate a technique that I use using the JDAM in a low altitude toss delivery uh, using coordinates that we enter at the start of the mission using the uh, data cartridge. Delivering the JDAM with this method means we do not require a radar lock or a TGP lock. The bomb will use GPS coordinates provided by you and its onboard INS navigation system. I'm also using the weapons delivery planner to augment information input into the data cartridge. This information gives you a visual reference point, pull up point, offset angle 1, offset angle 2 and the target attack points actually visually represented on your hood which is extremely useful in bad weather and at night. These last two points demonstrate the real strengths of this type of attack. Obviously not suitable for moving targets this method of attack is ideally suited for fixed targets that are extremely heavily defended. The altitude at which the bombs are released, which you will set in the weapons delivery planner, will be your maximum altitude. Uh, on this short mission we can see it's set at 4000 feet. Exposure time at this altitude should be minimal. Following release you should execute a hard inverted rolling dive back down to 300 feet and exit the area. If using the weapons delivery planner, don't forget to set the data cartridge up first and save it. Here we're using two targets tier points 9 and 10, which will become apparent what they are later in the film. TGP and HTS are not required, but I like to carry them anyway. List select VRP target point 9. ALO set 200, although our ingress is pre-programmed ideally for 300, you'll see that I'm considerably higher on approach. So a beautiful sunny day, but uh, picture this in the dark, low cloud, in rain, perfect. But not perfect for showing you guys what's going on. First looking for the uh, VRP, first reference point, which is there on the hood. So driving towards that, bear in mind our attack is going to be to the north up there, so we're going to have to do a 90 degree, still driving towards the VRP. So TMS right or OSB 10 selects offset angle point one which you can see on the HSD is a small white square. I'll pull towards that and we should see the uh, symbology on the hood. There it is. Actually see our pull up point in the distance and the target marker. attack altitude still a little high going down see the pull-up point which is a circle small circle to the right of the flight path marker. altitude altitude thanks Betty altitude altitude a little low pull-up point small circle approaching pull-up Bomb's gone. GBU released. Some flak. So here I should execute the roll, sharp descent and exit, but uh, for you guys, uh, just to show you actually what's going on, we'll stay high. So you can see the nice picture on the GGP. Not to mention the outside view. There's the ammo dump. Splash. Uh, 
Spike that. And flames. So at 10,000 feet, if there's any SAMs, we'd be dead now. But uh, the correct exit would be to egress, obviously, as low as you can. Get safe. So purely for demonstration purposes, we'll now attack the depot, which we've pre-programmed as steer point 10. It's simply a question of uh, will egress <laughs> far too high, show you what's going on. Will egress back to the VRP and then do another attack on the depot. Here we go. Absolutely. Altitude. Altitude. Thanks, Betty. They're going to be extremely annoyed with this demo setup. Altitude. Al They've only got uh, AAA. There's no SAMs. But if they did, provided you egress fast and low, they will not have time to acquire you. Altitude. And shoot. Altitude. 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 Bombs gone. Chaff flare. Splash. So I have an accurate weapons delivery. The key to remember is this can be accomplished at night, poor weather, with complete accuracy and hopefully safety. Recap. Step point set. OSB ten or TMS right changes from VRP offset angle one offset angle two to target on the hood symbology. Altitude. Altitude. VRP. Turning on to offset angle 1, which is the small white square on the horizontal display unit. Offset angle 2, small triangle. Again on the hood, which is extremely useful at night in bad weather. The idea is to drive the flight path marker through the waypoint markers which you have preset at 300 feet altitude. Fly into the pull-up point and put the flight path marker on the pull-up point, ideally. You know that pull-up point is at 300 feet because we've preset it. Oh, pull up. Consent release. Bomb's gone. CBU released. Again, should pull down. Chat flare. Exit low and fast. But we're going to stay up one last time. GGP view. And bomb view. Thank you, BMS. Splash. Destroyed with extreme prejudice.
Can go home now. Time for tea and medals. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's really quite simple, but the advantage, I can't stress this enough, is this can be accomplished at night in poor weather with no radar lock, no TGP lock, just GPS inputted coordinates against extremely well defended targets. It's nice to have an accurate weapon. Altitude. Altitude. You know, can get the job done and get you home safely. Thanks for watching. Safe flying, guys. See ya.